another episode of the thrifting my Pinterest board challenge where I find pieces from my Pinterest board and then I go to thrift stores and I try and thrift them. I don't even know what episode this is. It's been so long since I've done one of these. Life just got super busy. We moved. Our, my job was busy. We had the holidays. So lots going on in my personal life that I just kind of put thrifting on the back burner, which means these videos got put on the back burner. But we are back and I'm very excited. I'm putting this as a priority because it makes me happy. So with that being said, this thrift haul is so good. I'm so excited for you to see it. It was my first time back thrifting after a couple months and I just feel like the thrift gods were with me and it was just a sign from the universe that said you should thrift more because I found so much good stuff. So typically my process for thrifting is finding pieces on my Pinterest board or on Instagram or from other clothing websites and taking pictures of them and having like a mood board I guess when I go to the thrift stores. I didn't really have that this time because I know that thrifting can be so overwhelming and I get overwhelmed especially when I haven't done it in a while. So essentially what I did was I just looked at my Pinterest board as a whole. I didn't kind of I didn't create those like micro sections like an example would be Coastal Grandma or an example would be Kendall Jenner inspired outfits. I kind of just overall looked at my Pinterest board. I looked at things like texture, some basics that I didn't have that I know that I wanted to add to my list. And honestly, I've been so inspired by Elsa Hosk and so a lot of the pieces that I have in here are inspired by outfits that I've seen her in. So I kind of just let myself go through the thrift store, look to see what colors inspired me, what textures inspired me, what patterns inspired me, and try to find pieces that I felt would be a good addition to my wardrobe. But there was one piece that I was looking for that I did not find, unfortunately, and that is a denim skirt. I've been on the hunt for a thrifted denim skirt, and I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and buy a skirt from somewhere other than the thrift store. That's okay, though. I did find other skirts, so stay tuned for that. But let's dive into the video. So the first items that I'm going to start with are the items that my husband found. So he has like been on a style evolution along with me and he's always looking for good items at the thrift. So we found this Banana Republic shirt which is a thrifting tip. Make sure to read the label and then look at the price. One of the thrift stores that we went to had like Shein Forever 21 stuff for like $12. I'm not going to spend $12 on something at the thrift store that is from Shein or Forever 21 when I can spend an extra five to 10 and just buy it from the store. So just keep that in mind as you're thrifting. But one of the thrift stores we go to always has really good Banana Republic men's stuff. So I think this was like $6 or $7. It's just a button up shirt and you can see the pattern on it we also found a white one and every single year we go to south carolina and we thought that these would just be good additions to his beach wear to wear with bathing suits or with some long khaki pants or something like that come spring so i just wanted to share those and then another thing that he found were these pants from banana republic as well they're just a pair of khaki pants. They're a little bit thicker than regular khakis and they were super nice, especially for winter. Last but not least for the men, before we get into the women and the stuff that I found, is this super cool raincoat from H&M, but it's like new and it was only nine bucks. When I feel like something like this would have been a little bit more expensive if we bought it in the store. And so we decided that this was a good H&M purchase to make it a thrift. He just needed a light coat. He travels a lot and just needed something that was light that he could like bunch up and throw in his bag. Got enough with the men's stuff. Let's get into the women's stuff so I can show you guys what I found. I don't know where I should start. I think I'm gonna start with accessories. I typically don't have too much luck when it comes to shoes. I say that and like as I think about it, I kind of have a lot of shoes that I've thrifted, but I was really excited when I found these. They are a slingback kitten heel pointed toe 
with these little bows. They're originally from Ann Taylor and they are in really good condition. There's some wear on the bottom of them, but overall I'd say that they're in good condition. And these reminded me so much of like the Dior sling back heels that I feel like I've seen people like Matilda Durf wearing. So I was super excited when I found these in my size because I felt like they're a little bit Dior inspired and I thought that they were super cute. So I bought them. So that's the only accessory I found. Now I'm going to share with you a couple of the button downs. I personally love button downs and I think that the thrift store is the perfect place to find them. I think I maybe have one button down in my closet that is not from a thrift store. So Typically, I like to look in the men's section. I find that super helpful when it comes to looking for button downs, but I just picked up this one. This was kind of a staple item that I've seen a lot of people style. I know Elsa Husk specifically wears shirts like this a lot, and so I picked this up because I thought this was just a good staple button down to add to my closet. In case you can't tell, it's got some blue and white thin stripes and I'm super excited to style this. I have a couple ideas of how I'm going to wear this, but I've been styling all of these pieces over on my TikTok, so if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my TikTok and you can see how I style all these pieces. Make sure to follow my TikTok, not subscribe. I sound like an old lady. Next item is this denim jacket, and I just put it over this shirt. This is actually a different shirt that I thrifted. It's a tank and I cut it at the bottom, and I just threw it on here because I honestly thought that this looked really cute, and so I figured that I would just share this little kind of outfit idea with you, maybe with some black jeans or some trousers and a pair of loafers would look super cute, but I was looking for a denim, a denim shirt, and this is one of the pieces that I was looking for that I actually found, and so I think that there's just a ton of different ways that you can style a denim shirt. I think it's a really good staple to have in your closet. I used to have a ton of them, maybe, seven years ago and I'm really sad that I got rid of a bunch of them because I feel like now they're coming back into style again but I, I do think that these are a basic item that really will never go out of style you just style it differently depending on kind of what's trendy at the time last but not least for the shirts I have been super into the color navy lately I found this Eddie Bauer navy sweater that's long and oversized and super thick and it was seven dollars and I just had to get it. So I've seen so many of these pictures on, t on Pinterest where there's girls styling these types of sweaters with like a longer white shirt underneath layered with trousers and some cool sneakers and that's exactly what I was thinking when I tried this on in the store and picked this up. So I'm super excited to find other ways to style it but I always get excited when I find something that is an older brand like Eddie Bauer that I know just makes super comfortable, good quality clothes and I find them for a really good price. That makes me happy. Next up, bottoms. I ended up finding two skirts, which I'm not really a skirt girly, but I found these and I know I was looking for, I was in the skirt section because as I said I was looking for a denim skirt and I found these, this one. It's a black midi skirt and I feel like these skirts are going to be coming back. I've seen a lot of people pair these with sambas and maybe a hoodie or a sweater or a leather bomber jacket. And I wanted to push myself outside of my comfort zone a little bit and style skirts. So I don't truly have an idea of how I'm going to style these yet. But I am excited to dive into that and give myself a little bit of a challenge since skirts are out of my styling comfort zone. And this one was really out of my comfort zone. It's brown and it's a pleated skirt that doesn't, that, that kind of sways a little bit. I don't really know how to describe the way that it flows at the bottom but it's not straight it kind of is flowy and it's got some pleats and I am really excited to style this the way that I pictured this one is with an oversized sweater and then some loafers or even some tennis shoes and styling it like that so 
Other than that, I really truly don't know, but again, I think it's gonna be a good styling challenge for myself and kind of pushing myself a little bit out of that comfort zone. Let's get into outerwear. I found three different outerwear pieces. The first one being this vest, and I already styled this vest over on TikTok, so like I said, if you're not already following me, make sure to go follow me there. But I saw Gigi Hadid wearing a vest like kind of like this in this photo right here that I'll put on the screen. And it's not the exact same, obviously, but it, it just reminded me of it. And I think that that's also a good thrifting tip that you don't have to find something exactly the same as the items that you have on your Pinterest board. It can be the same idea. It can be the same texture. It can be a different texture, but same style. So just keep that in mind as you're thrifting. Try and keep an open mind that you don't need to find exactly the same item but just an inspiration of it so i it's i've already worn this i keep looking at it i think it's so cute i am excited to continue to figure out how i'm gonna style this but i was super happy when i found this all right so this next one i really was not sure what to think about it i put it in my cart and then when i tried it on i thought it was so cool and different and something that i haven't seen too much of and it's this puffer jacket it's this cropped puffer jacket that has tighter sleeves and this kind of flat hood i would say i don't even know i think you can use it as a hood and and tighten it but my gosh i just thought this was so fun and so different and so cool and i live in cleveland and so it's just going to be cold here for a while so i always love when i can find different coats that kind of elevate my style and make it a little bit different than just wearing the same coat every day with something underneath that no one even sees. So that's that. We'll see how I style it. Last but certainly not least is I think my favorite item of this thrift haul. I have been seeing fur coats everywhere and I think that they are so chic and elite and just so pretty and I found one and I'm so excited I really I was looking on Zara to order one and I wanted to find a black one and I ended up finding that and I'm so happy about it it's just a black fur coat pretty standard nothing crazy just exactly what I was looking for and so I was super excited that I didn't have to spend $70 on finding one and I could find one for 21 so again I feel like a broken record but I'm excited to style this and wear it because I do live in colder climates and jackets like this always will come in handy, especially for like girls nights out and day night. And that's it for this thrift haul. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any other videos.